Is this for the uh, wax or? That's for the honey. Oh, the bowl. Yeah, well, when we extract, we'll put it in that box for her or oh. in that bucket for her. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. She, she'll come and get it or they'll drop it off, you know, the box in the yeah. thing for her. And... See, the other thing that I found out, which was kind of cool, is that, see the first, the lower box, the bigger box, and then the next one above it, that becomes the hive. It, and, and then that stays, and then the third one up is where they collect all the honey after the, after the hive is really established and been there, it, the, it'll take both of those two boxes to keep them supplied. And then, then the third one on top is just to collect honey. Okay. So. How long has this one been established? This one's two years, I think. So you've extracted from it before? Yeah. Yeah, this is either the second or the third time this, this year. Though this year? Yeah, this year. Yeah, that's the other thing is, is the iron, those, those bees will fill that thing two, three times a year if it's a good, healthy hive, which is... Okay, that's amazing. what you do with that. I put it sideways first because it's a really strong smell, and if you put it straight on top, then they don't know where to go. It kind of confuses them. Oh, okay. And so then you kind of get that fume going down through, and it, they realize what's happening, and they kind of push down. And then when you turn it, then that really pushes them. You want to, uh, you got a spot for that wax and propolis? Um, sure, just give it to me. Okay. I was just going for the propolis. Yeah. That's good. She swears by it. Well. What's it good for? It's good for cuts. It's uh -huh. uh, antibacterial. It's better than Neosporin. It helps you heal. It actually has a numbing aspect to it also. Pretty good stuff. So now you're just waiting for them to go down? Yeah, I'm just kind of pushing them down. That American Fowl brand? Is that what's how brood? it's brewed? American Fowl brewed. Brood is what the capped um, larva is. That's what you call brood. Oh, okay. And so it's it's called you know the foul brood is when it when it hatches out and it's foul. And it's foul. You know, got or, it. Got it. Now or I understand. If it doesn't hatch out and they just eat the 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 cap off, you can see that foul brood in there. It's just dead and just not right. Yeah. That's why. It, that's where that name. Comes. I got it. Okay. So otherwise, if you didn't put that on there, you'd have to... I'd have to handshake every every frame, get all the bees off and into that, on into this box, and then I could pull that box away, because we don't want to oh. take the bees with us. I'll set this over here. Yeah, no problem. And then, uh, you, really, you can hand that to me and I'll take it out. Okay. Yeah, this one looks like it'll be about the same weight or more, so. <laughs> it's too heavy, I can get it. Look at those yellow jackets going after that bee. Yeah. Yeah, they're aggressive. Dang. They're just chewing it apart. Yeah. So much for the... Uh... world is pretty thin lined. It is. Live or die. Yep. Yeah, they just are chewing that one little bee up. Any of those bees that are half alive, they go for it. Yep.
smoke them and drive them down too? Yeah, it just helps push them down. One side just didn't want to go. Scrape all this wax off so that the lid will fit down flat. I see. Is this the stuff your mom likes? Uh, this is just wax. Um, you make chapstick out of it or candles. Um, this will actually only melt down into, I mean, a tiny puddle, but when you get enough of it. Oh yeah. Well, eventually. You do that once a year? Yeah, once once or twice a year. The tactic we do once a year. Light treatment. 